viewers and subscribers it is good to have you back again after two weeks of suspension we will continue telling you the truth on our threatened because that is our commitment now i want to quickly inform you all that um we have an alternative channel which i'll be dropping the link on the description so that you'll be able to click on it and subscribe to that channel so that you don't miss a thing if anything should happen to this channel all right having said that let us hit the ground running because there is no time to waste time oh yes my people it took a northern muslim from kanu state to reset the thinking faculty of one of our prodigal lost sons i'm talking about the nollywood legend tenet okonkwa he had come out to say that he has woken up from his dreamland following a bandwagon of a people who have taken Nigeria to the middle of nowhere and to the point of probably no return. He had realized suddenly that APC do not mean well for Nigerians. So, what happened? I want you to listen to him. I'll be right back. I was in APC all this while. I did everything. I erected the Secretariat of APC in my ward, in my local government. And I, I, I saw you defending Buhari even when it was Good. Uh, very difficult for a lot of his uh, persons to Beautiful. defend him in the Southeast. APC has done nothing for me personally. Have you ever seen me complain? And I'm not going to complain. So what party are you moving to? I am not contemplating any party yet. But I must have to tell you, a friend of mine, a northern brother of mine from Kanu State, when he learned I was coming to this program, he told me that I must be obicentric so going forward. You should join the obedient movement. Good. <laughs> this is a northern Muslim talking. Mm. Anybody that is telling you that northern Muslims will not support Christians is telling you false statement. So, and that uh, is the problem with bringing octogenarians to manage your party and manage the affairs of government. So, Senator so have Adam, you, Have you joined the obedience team? I am obicentric. Oh, but okay. I have not joined any party <laughs> because okay. that is the ticket that has actually provided for me that stability, that youthful energy that we need to change the system of Nigeria. But, but it goes in the APC and PDP says it's just an internet sensation. I mean, social media buzz. And of course, that for example, on Saturday, yeah. when the Oshun State Governorship election will be held, that you will see where the Labour Party will, will be. And it won't be among the top three or something like that. When they say such things, what do you say to them? Do you remember the time that APC was campaigning in 2015? They were the originators of internet sensation. And so why are they crying if it is not making an impact? When I read Business Administration, they taught me that the strategy of marketing starts with drawing attention. We call it the IADA principle. Attention, interest, desire before action. So stimulating attention of the people is the first thing you have to do when you want to market a product. And OBI is doing that well? They are doing it effectively well. And that is why those people are rattled. Good. I said it before. I said it time and over that there is no difference and there is nothing APC can offer to anyone in Nigeria other than failure, other than suffering. Now I'm coming to the issue of Muslim Muslim ticket, which is actually what triggered his eye opening. You see, Nigeria on a realistic perspective cloned by the Nigerian political class. They tie around religion and ethnicity with politics. That is the truth. They tie every one of them together and use them to keep the people down. That is just it. And I wanted I want to tell you all who are viewing this. You Nigerian people who are listening to the sound of my voice, that when someone tells you that Nigeria is one, one Nigeria, it is a scam. And when anyone 
try to undermine the ethnic and religious diversity in Nigeria when it comes to politics as the politicians play it, then the person is deceiving himself. That is the reality. Nigeria is not a nation. Nigeria is not a nation. Nigeria is simply a country of different people struggling to, you know, to survive as a country. But it has always failed. Because you don't have anything like Nigerians. What you have is or people who are only devoted to their ethnic enclave or their, their religious affiliation. That is the truth. Take that away, then everything collapses in Nigeria. That is the truth. So until Nigeria comes to the point where you say you now have Nigerians thinking beyond ethnicity and religious boundaries, that is the only time you can genuinely say, oh, let's not take a look at that. But I can tell you, my people, it took a northern Muslim to reset the thinking faculty of our own brother, Kenneth Okungwa. I don't want to sound like an ethnic bigot, but I want to tell you that the worst set of politicians are from the southeast, particularly Igbo land. They are the worst set of politicians. They don't understand. In fact, they are beclouded by their by their greed for money. And thank God this one has just woken up. And one fantabulous thing about this whole thing is that the man advised him moving forward because he he, 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 you heard him say from the very onset of the interview that he doesn't have any political future or where to go to. Then he took a northern Muslim from Kanu State to tell our own brother from the east that he should become obedient, that he should trot towards that. <laughs> because there is no two ways about it. And that is the only movement that have broken down the walls of religion and ethnicity in Nigeria. And I keep saying it until that wall is brought down. All the trapped indigenous people in Nigeria will continue to suffer. Nami Tokam. Write it down. So if you are judging for anything whatsoever, whether you are judging for Biafra, or Duduwa, or for Arewa, or for self-determination, or for restructuring, or for constitutional force majority, whatever thing you are judging for in Nigeria, it must go through the political process. And it can only take a political revolution, which can only happen if the walls of ethnicity and religious bigotry is broken down. And that is the only chance Nigeria has come 2023 with the OB movement. There is no two ways about it. You don't need to be sentimental. I'm just being realistic. I'm just telling you the truth the way it is. Take it. Share this video. Let every Nigerian get to know about this. That until you live above your ethnic sentiment and religious bigotry, you will continue to suffer as a Nigerian and to the benefit of the political class who have made your lives miserable. They are from the east, they are from the west, they are from the south, and they are from the north. They are Christians, they are Muslims, and they are traditional worshippers. They are all from your own enclaves. So, liberate yourself now before it is too late. That is the message I'm bringing to you. Don't forget, like I said, to stick to this channel. Please use the link on the description to subscribe to our alternative channel so that you don't get cut off anytime or should in case anything happens to this very channel. Thank you very much, every one of you who have looked out for me, who have called, who have texted, who have asked what is happening. It shows that we are being missed. And what we are doing is making impact. I appreciate you, every one of you. And I want to promise you that I will not disappoint you. I'm signing out. Don't forget to share this video because it is hitting target. 
open up the, heart, the hearts and the minds of people like Kenneth Okonkwo. They are in your WhatsApp, they are in your Facebook. Share this video to them. And that is the only hope we have for us to ride around together and free ourselves from the hands of wicked and oppressive political class. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.